Lakers are coming off blowing a double-digit double digit fourth quarter lead and now find themselves as a one-and-a-half point underdog against the Bucks, according to Fox Bet Sports. Book. Just hours ago, though, the Lakers were favored by one and a half points before it swung three points in Milwaukee's favor. So, Shannon, what's going on? Does this concern you? Either they got the word somebody sitting out tonight, skillful, <laughs> or, or, or some whales came in because the line don't move like that with a 10 and 15 dollar bet. Maybe they were watching Undisputed. <laughs> LeBron in the fourth quarter against Golden State. Somebody it came is. and dropped. You got to drop a couple hundred bands <laughs> for that thing to move like this. Mm. In an hour or two to move three yeah. points. Um, look, the Lakers are 11 and 4. I'm not going to overreact to one loss. The Milwaukee, they know what the Milwaukee Bucks represent. Mm -hmm. They won't take them for granted. I mean, there have been times that they played down to the competition. <laughs> Skip, we saw what they did to San Antonio. Then San Antonio come back like five, six days later and wipe the floor with them in their own building. So mm. Milwaukee will get the best of the Lakers. So I'm not concerned. I don't mm. care about no line, mm. but we get this dub tonight, mm. though. So two teams nicknamed Bucks are about to win games in Wisconsin. That would be the Milwaukee Bucks tonight against the Lakers, and that would be the Tampa Bay Bucks against Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers on Sunday. Nah. Bucks and Bucks. It's it's a Bucks kind of day and night. Here we yeah. go. First of all, on Sunday, y'all not winning anything. Mm. But I need that energy. Mm. And don't cut me off, because I know how you're going to be upset when you lose. And try to cut me off. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time with it. I'm gonna take you my off. Yeah, I'm going to take my time with this tomorrow morning, too, when LeBron put this 30-point triple dub on huh. y'all. Well, I just hope it's not a close game in the fourth quarter or your Lakers are in trouble, because LeBron is having oh, you a trust hard oh, time oh, in the fourth quarter. Oh, you quarter. trust Giannis in the fourth quarter more than no, LeBron? No, I don't. Okay, but then. I do trust uh, Chris Middleton, because he makes big shots for that team. Well, we got... Hold on. Did AD move? Mm. Did AD leave? Did we trade AD? Mm. Is no. that what, so that's what happened. Wait, you mean Andy Dalton? No, no, Andy no Dalton. he's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm Andy looking Dalton. forward to this game tonight. I apparently am wearing my Lakers color. <laughs> well, Anthony Davis said the Lakers are feeling some pressure to win tonight against the Bucs after blowing a 14-point fourth quarter lead against the Warriors earlier this week. In the loss, LeBron had three missed three-pointers and three turnovers late in the game while also missing the potential game winner. So, Skip, I have to start with you here. How concerned should the Lakers be about that collapse? LaShannon well, Sharp, <laughs> I have bad news for you. They should be very concerned because what happened against Golden State was not just a rare occurrence for LeBron James. This is not a blip. It's been a trend. So I'm just going to lay the stats in the middle of the table. So if we go back over LeBron's last 20 games of fourth quarters, and that dates all the way back through last year's NBA Finals, from the floor, just overall, he's shooting 42% in fourth quarters over the last 20 games. Obviously, he's a 50% overall shooter from the floor in his career in full games. Mm -hmm. And from the three-point line in those last 20 fourth quarters, he's only making 23%. And for his career in all games, regular season, he's a 34% career three-point shooter. Okay, now it gets much worse if you just do his last seven games of fourth quarters, dating back to the San Antonio loss at home. He's just been a disaster. So overall, in those seven fourth quarters, he is 5 of 24. 5 of 24, that's 21%. And that ranks 237th over those that stretch of fourth quarters in the league. From three, he's 2 of 12 in his last seven fourth quarters, which is 17%. That ranks overall 162nd in the league over that seven-game stretch. So... To me, LeBron's last seven games of fourth quarters are the best kept secret in basketball because I don't hear a peep about this trend from anybody because to me, the blind witnesses, and there are billions of those out there led by LaShannon, they see no evil. It's like these numbers have been scrubbed from his internet record. They've been expunged. They've been buried forever. Nobody acknowledges what's been happening in fourth quarters to LeBron James because I still hear his name even up to yesterday in the middle of the, MVP, the early MVP race in the NBA. His PER has fallen all the way to 23rd in the league, which by his standards is scary bad. 
I mean, even Paul George has a better PER than LeBron James. And if you look at Paul George's fourth quarter numbers this year, man, he's he's 50% from the field, 44% from three, and has made all 12 of his free throws. So, so Paul George is playing at a high level, much higher than LeBron. So I will now hand it over to you to explain to me how these numbers just don't matter. Well, often without no explanation. Um, they don't need to, first of all, to answer your big question and what Jenny asked, they don't need to be concerned. Um, LeBron James is playing the fewest minutes per game, the fewest fourth quarter minutes per game in his NBA career. He's also working with Dennis Schroeder now being the prime, one of the prime, the, the primary ball handler and Mark Gasol. You told me that the other guys needed, you know, when the Clippers were losing, they talked about they needed, they needed uh, reps. They need reps. LeBron and them still have time for the best record in the NBA. But for some reason, there's something sinister going on here that we don't want to talk about. Maybe they need reps. Mm. I'm not saying LeBron, LeBron has not shot the ball well this year. He hasn't shot the ball well in the fourth quarter. That's nothing. I mean, I mean if you're watching the games, you see that. But we see, and I, I, I believe, I understand what they're trying to do. They want to make sure it was a fast turnaround. And LeBron, we can't be playing you 36, 37 minutes early in the season. So they're trying to keep the minutes low. I get all that. Not, not missing games, though. He hadn't missed a game. No. He and, hasn't sat out a game. Now, and I don't really understand. I don't know what they're going to do, Skip, as far as the uh, All-Star game. I, I, I'm sure they're going to have, you know, okay, you get selected and you'll probably choose a team. You're not going to play because I think it's going to probably end up being called off. But... You're going to probably get a whole week off there. And I think they're just trying to get to that point and then LeBron James, and then you'll see those minutes all of a sudden from going from the low 32s to maybe 33, 34, 35. I don't see, I don't see him play it averaging more than 35 minutes per game. But he hasn't shot the ball well, Skip. Mm. Even with the ball fourth quarter lead, the Lakers have the sixth best net fourth quarter rating. So mm. it's not like they've been an overall bad team. Mm. They haven't. They lost. They got reckless with the basketball. They stopped playing defense like the Nets didn't do the entire night, play defense. They didn't play defense for one quarter, and it cost them the game. They also turned the ball over at a high clip. Mm. Cost them the game. But I'm not concerned about LeBron James. I'm not concerned about Anthony Davis. I'm not concerned about the Lakers. The Lakers will be just fine. They're working on their rotation. They're working on getting reps, getting continuity. Mm. And when that thing, watch it click. Mm. So, against Golden State, is it fair to say LeBron was starting to lose some confidence? Maybe not in himself, but maybe in his team? No, I, I, think, I think the biggest thing will happen with LeBron and it happens to a lot of guys is that when they don't get the calls that they think they deserve, and the superstars believe they deserve every call, uh, doesn't matter how big or small it is, they believe they deserve the call. And when LeBron didn't start getting the calls, I think he started getting frustrated. Mm. I think he started to force some things that he didn't have to do. That's natural. Mm. I'm not concerned about LeBron James. Okay. You shouldn't be concerned about LeBron James? Well, if I could remind everyone what happened in the last four and a half minutes of the Golden State game they lost. at Staples. If we could just remind everybody. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's LeBron. Whoops. You it's going to shoot a three. LeBrick. Uh, let's try LeBron. You have to dribble before you go. You're traveling. Whoops. Okay. He was mad at Schroeder on that. Then no, what matter, Shooter? He just, just threw the ball to uh, 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 Kyle yeah, Kuzma the right there. Away. LeBron, you have to dribble before you run. Okay, there's a third turnover, and then here's a nothing but backboard. Nothing but backboard? Come on, LeBron. And here's the last shot. This was a tough one. Draymond kind of played a little bit of defense, his business partner on him, and he just missed it. But it, it was a clean look. It was probably yeah. the best look he, he the, the best miss that he took. And I seen a guy that missed two shots now that could have won games. I saw mm. a guy, you, you say the best player on the planet, he had two games. Mm. In the last five, he had two mm. shots yep. to win the game. He's going to miss both of them now. In mid range, you say he the best mid range game. Oh, you mean the one last night? Yeah, the last night. Oh, he wanted the ball, and Kyrie didn't give him the ball. No, 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 in regulation. I'm talking about the regulation. He got it. He oh. missed the shot. Oh, that's the end of the first. Yeah, the regulation. Oh, at the end of regulation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he had that. Mm. And he remember, he missed the other one. Remember? He got mm -hmm. it. He had two cracks at it. Kyrie mm -hmm. missed it. He got the rebound. Missed it again. You saw that, right? That's two of them. Who would you rather take the last shot, Kevin Durant or LeBron James? I want the ball and go James. Uh, you want the ball and the best the ball player and go on the planet's hands. Skip. Because he, he showed you in back-to-back -back NBA finals that he was the MVP in LeBron's face in his house. All I'm saying is, is one guy has made more clutch shots than KD. 
Mm. One guy has more finals and finals MVPs and regular season MVPs than KD. Mm. Now, that's what you say. Now, when, you, when you give me the little, uh, Jordan argument, that's what you tell me. Mm. You tell me one guy has this, 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 and this. Mm. So, therefore, Shannon, he can't be that. Mm. Now, on the flip side, one guy is doubling him up all across the board. Mm. And now he better. Now, I need you to pick one side, pick one lane and stand it because you side swiping me. I'm staying in it that Kevin Durant is unstoppable right now. Can I ask you a question? He's at his peak. Let me ask you a question. seven feet tall and he shoots mid range like nobody I can remember since Michael Jeffrey if, Jordan. Yeah, Bailey, so you don't mind me asking, tell me the time that you heard the comparison, the GOAT comparison between Kevin Durant and Michael Jordan. Mm hmm. I don't care about that because there should be no GOAT comparison because the GOAT is the GOAT okay, and it's over and done. You know who the GOAT is. The, the, the only blasphemy we, that I ever hear is LeBron is better than Jordan. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you ever heard that Kevin Durant is the second greatest basketball player to ever play? Mm. Well, he's just getting started. He, <laughs> you, you give him about eight more years. Oh, you'll play eight more years? Yeah, you'll play eight more years? Sure, though. at this level. Eight more years, so that'll be twenty. That'll be twenty-two seasons. Remember, Kevin's not a leaper by nature, so he's so long and and so gifted. Twenty-two seasons. He'll, okay. he'll be nailing these 10, 12 foot jumpers for eight more years. Sure. As long as they don't, as long as they're not to win the game, he'll be fine. How many championships he's going to win? He, but he could get to six at this rate. <laughs> he he will beat us. He will have I more think than we're us. We're seeing a budding dynasty in Brooklyn right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Greatest show on earth. Uh, okay. Nothing but you saw, nets. You saw what happened to the, the, the Ewing dynasty. Yeah. Oh, John Ewing. Yeah. Oh, John Jr. Nothing. <laughs> it lasted a long time, though. Creative. Interesting there. Uh, guys, listen.